of us lives dependent and bound by our individual knowledge and our awareness. All that is what we call reality. However, both knowledge and awareness are equivocal. One's reality might be another's illusion. We all live inside our own fantasies. Don't you think that's true, Sasuke? Today I'm going to be dropping the long-awaited AP and JP video. A long time no me I call on a favorite artist, Bible Barabbas, World Sprat. You might be wondering why, but today I'll go find out. I'm also going to be giving you a deeper look into not just the entertainment industry, but the political and justice system in Ironman as a whole. The simple town will tell you everything it's just coincidence and I'm telling you it's all by design the Jamaican people don't understand true peace they don't even know what it looks like it's funny to them that's because at the end of the day they're not really feeling it like that everything Barabbas has done never really affected them and the film Pitney and the film Mother got executed under Barabbas command and I'm not talking about Lizard. This is much bigger than Lizard. Ironically, as you see in the video I dropped a couple days ago, Barabbas himself is now transforming into a lizard. The reptilian sprats, evil ways, starting to manifest physically. Before I'm going to the video, let me just state something. This is mainly for the people in the PIA, you know. People will describe themselves as supporters of the movement. While I accept it's with good intentions, too many people are messaging me and asking, How oh you yeah, wall up? Why am I there worry about you? How oh you? Yeah. As if I'm somehow destroyed and devastated. This is child's play. People who ask me these things, I can't help but wonder if we have forgotten. Summer 2020. After the popcorn video. Back then, I was an extra little YouTuber and I walked away from that, laughing and infinitely stronger. The same thing will happen again. I understand you're not used to men like me, but know this, I am battle hard in real life. I have the wounds as a daily reminder to show for it. It is downright insulting to me to tell me that vloggers, entertainers have somehow broken me and you're offering your support and you're worried. You're insulting me. I know you have good intentions, but you're flattering the Vulture Squad. Remember, everybody have different strength levels. Let me give you one more analogy. Imagine you're standing in a gym and you see somebody about to bench press 200 pounds. You run over to them, quote unquote worried. You think you're helping them. But you're insulting them. See, bench pressing 200 pounds to you sounds insane. But to that person, 200 pounds is just a warm up session. It's lightweight. That's what's happening right now. People are projecting onto me. This is child's play to me. And in the coming weeks, months, and years, you will see who is laughing. The people of this clan are all the same. You focus on the trivial and lose sight of what's most important. Change is impossible in this fog of ignorance. How can we evolve when regulation is the only thing we've ever known? While Itachi was talking about his own clan in that clip you just heard, it also applies to Jamaica. The masses are foolish, as Vibes Carter himself described them. So why did you say a cake so Yes, I think we've got some of the four nights. Yeah, because I know people are going to buy into it. Remember, you know, people are like sheep, you know, and I am the shepherd, you know. They're easy for the lead. Remember, you know, people are like sheep, you know, and I am the shepherd, you know. 
them easy for the lead. Remember, you know, people are like sheep, you know, and I am the shepherd. You know. Them easy for the lead. And then the easy for the lead, it's so easy, it's like, it, 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 it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Because we say cakes, so everybody take it up. Who cakes up this cakes up now? Every day for what I want, for what I want, my scatter that cake. Yeah. Every day for all of the video program. Well, my scatter that cake. So. so when me you just do now, cool and what me face the cakes up. It's a uh, more fear, more money for my scatter. And it's like them not see what I want. I mean telling you what me I do now and them read it. Them still are gonna be who them is the next day when you do something, them are gonna buy it too again. Yeah. And the, the, the concept of us go over and over and over again because that, that, that is what people are. Let's get into the video. Jamaica is controlled by a Sprat Boys Club. They have wives, they have children, but these men are Sprats, cultists, pedos, satanists, deep into rituals, deep into the occult. They hold the most power in the country. The foolish man will tell you that this is just a conspiracy theory. In the day, it's up to you to take it all you want. Even though you will see them parading around with your quote unquote family, it's all an act. These men only need women to reproduce and pose it publicly because who and what they're into can't make children. In the video yesterday, I gave you a website. I'm telling you, go check it out. On that website, you will see your favorite artist, Barabbas, and some more of the pictures that me tell about them scrub off of the internet. The ones them we really don't want you to see. And that's only some of them. Those are not even the worst ones, believe it or not. Just because I wanted you to see that, as I've said many times, everything a barber claims in quote unquote burn out before, can do it. Then you'll ask yourself the question if he lied about all these other things and then end up or do it, then why would he be telling the truth and the others? The website I'm talking about is in the video I dropped yesterday about Natalia Roden. The reason why I don't want to mention the website in this video is because the type of things they might want on the website. If you walk, say them are going to delete this or restrict that, I'd rather them restrict that video than this one. And speaking about them, download this video. After you watch this video, save it to your phone. That way the video can live forever and ever. Even if something was to happen to this platform. All of the important videos them on this channel, download them, save them. That we can pass them down even to the next generation if this channel is no longer around in the future. In a game of chess, you can't scream checkmate until the game is actually over. I'm right here. Think about it the barbers are still in prison, that are still there till them eventually croak, get one of the biggest funeral in Jamaican history, and that's that. Now, the final image I have of Barbas is him. Looking like what he really is. A reptilian sprat. So one of the top general in the PIA said something to him. He said, look at you true, but you didn't realize that you're the DPP. I said, what do you mean? No, you're the DPP. You're the people's DPP. You've been elected not just by the PIA and the Patreon squad, but even Sheep Nation. So I'm not get you. What do you mean? You are the DPP, look at you, true. But you know, say, when time people bust case, when the clansman then bust the case, they don't see it as a victory against the actual DPP office. They see it as a victory against you. My eyes were wide open. When these gang members bust case, they don't see it as a victory against Paula Llewellyn or the DPP office. They don't celebrate victory against them. They celebrate victory against the local YouTuber. That means that, just like the PIA member said, somehow I have become the unofficial DPP of Jamaica. Man, I show me when such man bust the case with him and not talk about Barabbas, somebody else. The talk of them to one was that them beat the little YouTuber. Not the actual DPP office, but me. So that means, just like you see when the video starts, I'm going to the people's channel. And for those who want to tweet. I am now the unofficial DPP of Jamaica. AP and JP, what may I talk about? AP is Adija Palmer. JP is Giovanni Palmer. 
you're wondering who is that? Hide your brothers, hide your sons, the farmer boys. One go both ways, the other one, just the man. Today we're going to find out why I call him the I hope you're ready for this video. I hope you're sitting down. Vibes Barabbas, I know you're tuning in. Hope you're comfortable. By the way Barabbas, let me ask you something. What did you do to Sean Stam in prison? Who is this? You like your toys them pale. Light. What happened to Sean Storm? Sean Storm went to prison a masculine dude. For all his shortcomings, he was a masculine dude. Who is this? What did you do to Sean Storm in prison, Barabbas? This dude came out of prison looking feminine with a man pick. With a dog tag running him neck up a next man face. This is not some fan in the streets buying one, a piece of memorabilia. This is somebody who was in prison with the same man at the same time. When have you ever seen two men in a prison a serve sentence side by side and one of the men them have the next man pick as a dog tag around him neck? Sean Storm innocence has been took. What did you do to Sean Storm, Barabbas? Barabbas, what did you do to Sean Storm? Mad sus wasn't enough. Jeffrey Hype wasn't enough. Barabbas is a deviant. JP go one way, AP go both. I can understand why I call him Rose, but Moano. What did you do to Sean Storm, Barabbas? Sean Storm can't even look. He doesn't even have the confidence anymore. Look at his expression. Mad sus wasn't enough. I said, Mad sus. Who named him so? Him just get released as well, one of the core defendants. Look at this pick. No worry, we'll soon get to JP, which we're gonna show you all a picture him. Him man, him man, him man, up. He likes them white, just like Barabbas. He likes them light and white, just like Barabbas. The experts will tell you that most human interaction, most communication, most communication between human beings is non verbal. Some estimate it to be as high as 90%, some as low as 60 but the majority is non-verbal, meaning you don't have to talk. You can look at two people, body language, expression, and too much communication is being done. When you see a woman with a man, her body language tell you they are intimate. When you see a masculine man and a feminine woman, you can see. When you see a man and a woman walk down the road, Without even knowing them, you can look on them. You know, so them two people involved. Sometimes you can even tell, say, the woman are the dominant one and the man are the submissive one. You can tell body language, communication is non verbal. The majority is non verbal. Look at the picture. This is Barabbas, one of his toy boys, Mad Sus. Remember in the video with Lizard? The one that walk around with him and hook up. Go, go watch the Rajik video. The one of them and hook up, hook up. You know you look a style there with enough woman over them walk with them and hook up. You look a feminine thing there. That's mad sauce. Observe their body language. Barabbas positioning in this picture. Everything show you. Showing you he has ownership over mad sauce. That's how a man close marking woman. Not convinced? Think I'm reaching? I'll show you the next one. But before I go into that, by the way, I'm zooming from Barabbas neck. I'm zooming from Barabbas neck. People ask me, where the orange dragon, orange dragon, orange dragon? Read the sign from Barabbas neck. I'll get back to that part later. Here is the next picture of Barabbas and Matsus. May I give you the 10 seconds to look on this picture? Starting now. Apart from Sheep Nation, who we know in a sense, the rest of Jamaica, all if on the blind, when you can't see. When the brain are telling you, no, surely not, dog, the world boss, no, dog, we don't want to accept this. Open your eyes. That's a, that's a couple right there. You see, man, so notice one of them is the quote unquote man, and the next one, look at him. It's like a pimp on his hole. Look for Madstus clothing. 
Look which part feet in pants, look which part him underpants, look on him slippers, look on him a carry a little bag in his hand like when Umana got a market. And what they call people like Mad Sus. In American prisons are punk. I mean, I mean punk like when people say you're a fool for beat up. Google what a punk is in prison. That's Barabbas's hoe. Oh. Study the picture, guy, and stop lying to yourself. He likes them light and white and feminine. This has been one of the worst kept secrets. People in the dance industry know. People at Waterford know. People in a clansman know. The first one you can say, well, this one, look, yo, maybe I read too much into it. The second one, that's the same source. Notice, even in this picture, my hold up the devil sign. That's the same source. Always handcuffed together. Always attached in more ways than one. That shot is biggest matey right there, so. That boy named Mad Sus. All the years they matter about Shorty and which girl this and which girl that. Team the Mad Sus. Keep lying to yourself, guy. Go on. Do mental gymnastics. Tell yourself, no, dog. I just. Yo, me don't want to believe that, dog. Real boss, dog. I treat your bad man in him. She your vex. Don't worry, I get to JP. I'm still going to show no JP dropping at this. If you think a deviant like Vibes Barabbas can hold it in a prison for 13 years, then you really are one of the sheep them in the clear same lead. If you think a deviant like Barabbas sit down in a prison and hold it for 13 years when this boy away here see so with him pants are hanging down back on him, this is one of the worst kept secrets. They can't do them to talk all the time. You them on Barabbas will just look a bit too feminine like they've been touched. How are go on? One of the ways Barabbas ensures quote unquote loyalty from his people them, male or females, is by penetrating them bottom. Once he does that, he owns you. Once a man gets violated like that, he can't tell the man to violate him nothing. He could have bust 1,000 shot. Once that happens, it's done. Now the name Loyal Boss makes so much sense, Sean Storm. Look at Sean Storm, that's not the same guy you know, is it? Is that the Sean Storm you know? Go on, keep playing mental gymnastics. See, Barbas has always been a deviant in various forms for a very young age. Started off torturing animals. Torture the cat them till they dead. Fingering animals. The boy has always been a deviant. His fetish for both male and female started a long time ago. Him and his brother Giovanni. You will hear later in the video. If you're a foreigner, you'll be mistaken for thinking Jamaica is a quote unquote homophobic society. It's not. Jamaica is run by the LGBT community. As I said, a very powerful, a very wealthy and powerful Sprat Boys Club. Many of your favorite Jamaican content creators are proud members of the LGBT community. They walk around just fine. They have lots of supporters, people tune in, people sit them on the road and take pictures with them. That's why many of these content creators love Vibes Cartel so much. If it wasn't for him, they wouldn't be able to appear from the underworld which they used to reside and now be on the surface. These are some of the cretins you see online raging at quote-unquote Serpy. They hate Serpy. Serpy for dead. I hate the boy Serpy. That's because this fraternity controls the music industry, entertainment as a whole, the media. They're now even into the classrooms at the University of the West Indies, indoctrinating your children and those who even dare to question it suffer the repercussions. But now they have met their greatest resistance yet. Not a politician, not a prime minister, but a YouTuber. The opening of the sexual underworld began by the Barabbas. First him signed the deal, remember he took responsibility for his homophobic lyrics, but only those lyrics. Don't you find it strange that Boom Bye Bye is murder music, but Informer for Dead isn't? After Barabbas signed he then set off on a slow but sure journey to turn Jamaica into a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah where anything goes. 
Despite his best efforts to conceal who he really was, he eventually succumbed. See, as a young Jamaican, Lives Barabbas battled with his identity. He hated his dark complexion. He hated other people with dark complexion. And he would not hesitate to tell other people how they're black and ugly. Him and his brother Giovanni made it no secret. Their love for not just white skin but also the bottom. His brother was groomed into the spotlight by Barabbas. Notice you've never heard about this brother. Matter of fact, Barabbas have a song talking about Movado's sprat brother. Remember that? Mo a song I talk about Movado sprat brother the whole time he had one of his own. Are you still doing mental gymnastics? Carry on. On top of that, Barabbas lived in a society where he couldn't be himself, which is bi. And when time I say bi, I don't mean bi a shop. Where I was to try and use his music, you know, conceal who he really was, but even then, he always give himself. Songs like where him declare, Jamaica, me now go F no man. That is a bizarre and random thing for a straight man pledge. There is no reason for a straight man to tell an entire nation him now go F no man. But let me tell you something right now. If somebody walk in our room and just walk up to the mic, Nobody not ask him none. I just walk up to the mic and just declare out of nowhere. I'm not going to molest the pitney. That person is a pedo. Because those things are given. You assume that's not the case. Nobody asked you this. Let me go back to the orange rag question. Everybody asked me, what is my orange rag? Orange rag. A long time, Barabbas. Right. I do that, but no founders are noticed because I didn't cover up the whole time face with it. I turn off a look on him neck in the man's house picture. Barabbas, a big PNP. I know you hear him say he burn out politicians and not work with politicians and not work with this and that. Barabbas is a PNP. Hence the Klansman link, the Ice Sprat link, the Bird Spratwell link. They're all prominent members of the PNP. As I've stated, the masses only see what going on the surface. They don't realize how deep it goes. In it. There is a political link. When we talk about the power structure, when we talk about the connections, when we talk about the deals, a lot of that tie into why Vibes Barabbas is now free. Yes, there is a political element the Vibes Cartel being released from prison. Before Barabbas could be released, certain things had to happen. One, the person who led the charge. If you arrest him in the first place, had to go. That's Paula Llewellyn. Remember, the Jamaican justice system, the courts came out and said, Paula Llewellyn needs to go and get rid of her. That same court will end up free Barabbas. When Paula Llewellyn was essentially given the boot, remember Philip Paul and very high profile members of the PNP were standing there looking so proud. Again, it fly over on the phone here. No one asks about iron drug. The next election shall be real interesting. Paula Llewellyn, speaking about Paula Llewellyn, understand this. She represents something the elite Sprat Boys Club, I'm going to tell you about in the Iron Man, resents. A black woman, a dark skinned black woman, with a rugged spirit that was willing to stand up to this club full of deviance and purpose. If Paula Llewellyn was a Rwandan, or a Gambian woman, she would be more highly rated. But unfortunately for her, she's a Jamaican woman. And Jamaican women like her are not held in high regard. She's far too polished. She, she carries herself too respectfully. Jamaica is a harlot's paradise. A gunman and jacket pitney around the place. No place for people like her. Plus she had the audacity to go up against the king of the Irish Saxons. The bleaching the reptilian sprat, the people's, the people's DJ, Vibes Barabbas. I've said it on this platform, if Barabbas was released, Paula would need to resign. In the end, he was released. But she earned the right to resign. She should have been given the chance to resign, not kicked out on her face. And not some politically motivated mission, like what happened. That's nothing to do with no constitution, you simpleton. When in history have you ever seen people so motivated to get rid of a DPD? When in history have you ever seen people so willing? You're talking about people who are the epitome of corruption. 
then bend and break every rules. Remember this. Paula Lulin said, I'll see you in court. My barbers make it known clear it's to the only world leader in respect. The only world leader him follow is the king of England. You see them something down ask yourself how? Oh, how the hell could Barbas even say something like that? Why would he say that? Even know why? When him case for England, evidence overwhelming. Them send it back to me. Paula Lewin said, I will see you in court. Little did she know she wouldn't make it to court. One left now, listen to me. See if you there, I get mad now, you know. See, now we are getting ready for work now. You know. All of this before, just a warm up. Now we are getting ready for work. Paula Lewin said, I will see you in court. Little did she know the machine already have it set up where she would never make it to court to face Barabbas again. His master set it away there. Paula Lewin said, I will see you in court. But the elite Sprat Boys Club, perverts, cultists, and degenerates had other plans. The team that replaced Paula Lewin that went up in court. We try and argue the case as to why there should be a retrial. Might as well them never turn up. They don't fear them people. They only fear Paula Llewellyn. And they make sure get rid of she. Simpleton. That's all by design. So when you ask me about what's too much orange rag on orange kerchief mean. Don't delude yourself. You know what it means. But you're doing mental gymnastics. You're doing mental gymnastics to convince yourself this is organic. That this happened because, oh, you know, because um, if the procedures were... This is all by design. Barabbas, king of the Irish Saxons, their biggest puppet, had to go back on road. He serves a purpose then and he will serve one in the future. You will see. Barabbas, a big, big PNP. Hence the clansman link, the bird spratway link, the ice sprat link. Speaking about PNP and the people who get rid of Paula Llewellyn. This is a party that I remember used to pride itself on being quote unquote for black people and claim said them socialists. Them used to laugh and say the JLP was a white man thing and then you know the rich man thing. The irony in all of this, the same PNP that was masquerading claiming it was pro black and socialist is now being led by a white investment banker. You cannot make this up. Only in a clown society like Jamaica can a party that proclaim to be socialist be led by a white investment banker. But then again, out of many one people, I guess. Marky Saxon was one of the main people them who led the charge to remove Paula Llewellyn. This is a man who is normally quiet like a mouse when he comes on to certain issues. He was charged up to get rid of Paula Llewellyn. The only black people and black women him know are the ones who are submissive to him. The ones who challenge him shall suffer great consequences. Daring, bunting and golding. The billionaire banker boys. Bunting as in Peter Bunting. These are now the quote-unquote top man them in our socialist party. You can't make this up. You are fools. Bunch of billionaires preaching to peasants about inequality. Get out of my face with that nonsense. They are the definition of it. Now you might be saying, Oh, you are a bad mind man for the money and their wealth. I have no problem with people having their money and their wealth. What I have a problem with is elite, very wealthy people right, amassing great wealth through private enterprise Meanwhile, telling the peasants that they are socialists and they're going to give them some kind of free government program to save them from poverty. No, I'm not saying the JLP is any better because they're not. But it was the PNP that spent long history bragging about how Edward Siaga was a white man and a white man can't do this and a white man can't do that. Now I see all these signing up behind Marky Sucks and talking about how oh, many one people. It's that leadership structure that got rid of Paula Llewellyn. Now you might be asking yourself the question, what wasn't Barabbas lawyer Tom Tavares? There you go again, falling for the trap, thinking that these people are actually enemies. They're not. Within the PNP and the JLP, they all went to the same schools. 
they went to the same university at West Indies. All them live on Taylor Hall. Some of those are green and some are orange. The same people, them are one link. But that's for Tom Tavares. He was used in the Barabbas trial because even though he's a political rival right, of Barabbas, being a member of the JLP, he holds great power as a member of the custodian class. People like him and his ancestors helped shape Jamaica into the modern house and field negro plantation it is today. Only he could have shown Barabbas the loophole that eventually got him out. I told you how the system works. I broke down Jamaica for you. If you don't want to accept it, that's your business. Your daddy that top, then you have the custodian class, then you have the house negro, then you have the field negroes at the bottom. But there is definitely a ranking system in Jamaica. People like Bert Samuels and Ice Brock, these are house negroes. And while they rank higher than the common field negro, they do not have the same sway of a direct colonial remnant like Tom Tavares. How do you think Tom Tavares thinks he was given the president of the Senate? The Senate is the most overlooked part in Jamaican politics. Everybody talk about the MP. How Jamaica works? If the people ask them MP for bringing in a policy, and every MP agree upon it, and put it forward in the house, the senators can block it. Jamaica has never been a real democracy. It's a myth, it's a scam, it's a fraud, it's a lie that they push in the education system so the Negro thinks he's living in a free and fair society. The Senate can block things put forward by elected officials. And who did end up with the title of President of the Senate? Tom Tavares Vince. It took somebody of Tom Tavares connections, power and knowledge to bail out the ultimate puppet, Vibes Barabbas. So for small petty things, political lines can be drawn, but when it comes on to saving Barabbas, it's a team effort. Tom Tavares played his role. Played it well. In the end, it was freedom tactics, freedom job that really freed Barabbas. Not that freak I sprat back on my see. Parading around, gallivanting. I want you to look at your screen right now. I'm talking about AP and JP. You think I'm making it up? Ask Vibes Barabbas if that's not his brother, Javon. Ask Vibes Barabbas since you say I'm making all this up. Now, so far, the most liarted of sheep nation to Yo, you just talk about this and you, you just show some picture and you still know. Can you talk about brother and we don't even know about no brother? Who knows a brother exists? You better depend on your screen. Barabbas, who's that? Remember him? I'm gonna try hiding him from the world. And by the way, this is a picture he posted on his social media. Unlike his brother, Barabbas, Javan is a proud member of the LGBT community. He accepted what he was. He's not struggling with the same identity issues like Barabbas. Remember him talking about, move on to everybody, but brother. That's Barabbas, brother. That's Giovanni Palmer. Just like I told you, Barabbas. He likes them light, preferably white. He likes them light, preferably white. They have the same taste. Is your mind blown yet? Or do you think I'm making this up? I know you're doing mental gymnastics right now. Try and process what you're seeing. Surely Barabbas could never sprout better because in this sing song, at this moment, all the film sprout better. And and plus Barabbas born out this and him say man if he dead and him Barabbas would never hold Sprat brother and the two of them couldn't have been known Sprat from a long time and the family just keep it one. No dog. No, I, I won't accept this. No, I, I don't want to believe this. No, 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 no. So he do so he hit Barabbas and so he fight against Barabbas. So he hit Barabbas this. He make it up. He make it up. It's all lies. It's all lies. It's all lies. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's a Gaza fan right now. The guys are from right now. There were two potential avenues of resistance to Vibes Barabbas to puppet, his fellow entertainers and their master's agenda. The resistance could have come from two places. First one would have been the church, second one would have been Rastafarians. Barabbas and his co-workers in the entertainment industry, with the backing of their masters, neutralized both. It's time for us to be honest. The Jamaican church that exists today is not the Jamaican church you remember years ago. 
It's currently in its weakest form. We've never seen the Jamaican church this week. They have never been this little respect for the church ever. They have never been this little respect for your pastor ever. Back in the day, even gunman respect the church. Back in the day, even gunman respect the church. The pastor, the pastor, call you over. You could have bad so till. Those days are over. Matter of fact, nowadays you can't even tell the difference between the worldly and the quote unquote saved. They look, act, and think alike. Matter of fact, enough of the church people them not jump up when Barabbas get free to. Through his music and his co workers' music, they have slowly eroded the respect and reverence people had for both the church and Rasta. Let's start with the church first. People used to have reverence for church. Even if they go to church, even people who never used to go to church used to have a certain amount of reverence for church. Not anymore. In his music, Barabbas slowly eroded that. When he have song like, F in the church, get in the spirit. Song like, the eagle eye, your crutch is coming like Bible. When it open up, we see heaven. This is mockery of the highest order. Some would go as far as saying it's blasphemy. Not in Jamaica. Because the song sounds so good, people start dancing and sing along to it, not realizing subconsciously they were removing whatever reverence they had for the quote unquote church. Them claims that them love. Because them love brag about most churches per square mile. As Jamaicans sang along to these tunes to the point where it became normal. On top of this, things that were completely off limits, like calling yourself demon and everything there, became normalized. People like him and one of his many spawns, Tommy Lee. Imagine the nation that used to brag about most churches for a square mile running around chanting, Uncle Demon! And Daddy did. The attention, one a uncle, the next one a daddy. Barbas make sure make you know say, man, the bigger devil for Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee is his spawn, Tommy Lee is his child. These are two of Jamaica's most favorite artists. Don't you find that confusing in the nation that claims it loves God so much? Which God? Which God? I tell you, say them talk about God, but they don't, they don't get the name of the God. People who study the various religions. You don't have to believe in a religion to study it. I study everything, even time I believe in it. I spend many hours studying religions like Buddhism, and I care nothing for it still study it. It enables me to tackle topics like this. When they matter about God, which God? The Bible you claim see a follow make it clear that there were other gods. False gods. Him does say God, but did it but Baal was a God? There are many gods. There were other gods. I said sometime when you're talking about God they're talking about Baal. They're talking about Marduk. You see, meanwhile, many of your favorite pastors were lying in their pockets. Barabbas and the entertainment industry were working full time to take control of the national consciousness. The Jamaican church is living in delusion. They don't even realize they've lost the nation. Talk about them, I pray for the nation. Every year, they pray, not now. Block up the roads so they have national prayer day for crime. And the next, day, next thing is the crime spike up 50% more. Now if you ask enough of them pastors to which God who will lead the people them to. Beware, Mr. False Prophet, which God will lead the people them to. I notice who will call the name neither when I say God, which God? Now for your pastor, them are false prophet. The book did warn them about them. The man Barabbas not too dissimilar. They've lost the national consciousness. Speaking about consciousness, the second line of resistance to Barabbas and him people them was supposed to be Rastafarian culture. And it was a resistance. No matter what Dan said, there was always a balance to counter it from Rasta culture. Rasta culture could balance it off. But then you could have a Rasta, you could have a reggae song that was as big of a hit as a dancehall song. You could have reggae songs, an entire album and get as much airplay as the most grimy of dancehall song. Wanna forget? 
Have you forgotten? Rasta culture, just like the church, has been watered down. It cannot resist what is going on in dance hall. It's not strong enough. Much rent a dread about the place. Much watered down dread. Them dread are get too much commercial sponsors. When they put on events, it's too much commercial sponsors I uh, uh, support them. The militant Rastas in the old days were shunned. Corporate Jamaica never wanted anything to do with them. These new ones are embraced. When they go to these new modern day quote unquote Rasta stage show, you see the custodian class up there, you see them picking them up there, you see Bakra up there. Everybody having a jolly good time. They have nothing to worry about. They do not fear them like how they feared the original version of Sizzler. They do not fear them like how they feared Kibitan when him first get militant. They do not fear them like how they used to fear Garnet Silk, Peter Tash and them. They do not fear them. These new quote unquote rebels are soft and docile. You could even book them for a picnic party. You could even book them for a picnic birthday party and they would fit right in. When Caesar and them had the first drop on the scene, they brought a level of militancy that the machine was not prepared for. I'm not talking about this diluted, vague, oh, unfair life, and it's not right, and it's, it's unfair, and the inter I'm talking about direct call out. I'm talking about, I have no white God that teach me anything wrong. I'm talking about black woman and child. I'm talking about music that make Bakra shake. I'm talking about music that make the custodian class uncomfortable. What happened to it? It died. Locally and abroad. Everything that was about consciousness, everything was about love and the peace and the family. It's the water down or dead out. That's yard and foreign. There's been a carefully planned to stifle certain type of music. Notice, acidic dancehall, acidic hip hop is dominant. The artists, them want to run dancehall, no one run hip hop now. You still have a little segment in a dancehall and a segment in a music. Now they're the dominant force. Meanwhile, lovers rock, R&B, re rebel music, souls, them sitting there week out. When was the last time you heard a good soul song? You have to go back to the old song them. You don't find that strange? What happened to lovers rock and reggae? What happened to R&B? One time we had a girl that para be a soul's music I play. Right now, man and woman apart. Still not care how I drive when I listen to it. Sinful, these new girls don't even like your souls again. If you put on souls, I make them Jamaican women and hear them legal eyes dry up. What that? I want somebody tell me, say, I'm going to I'm a ball. That's what I want to hear. Get that nerd. What kind of nerd thing? What kind of souls you talk about? You lock off that. What kind of bury someone that can't get my legal eye with? You nerd. Do you think artists just stop having talent? All of a sudden, you think there's just no more artists with no more talent for making no lovers rock on the R&B and a soul song. You think talent just dry up? One type of talent just dry up, so that's not how music works. Music is about funding. Music is about public relations. Music is about marketing. Music is about A and R. Music is about payola. Music is about this way I push. What am I push? What if artists out there make good tune? What if artists out there? I make conscious song, I make but we're talking about the funding and the pushing. Who I get it? The people who control the industry by the way are not black. The puppets who spread the message are, but the owners are not. Just like the old days. It's no accident the king and queen of dance hall are pro strap by the way. For the first time in history, the so-called king and queen of dance hall are pro LGBT. The first time in history. Spice by the Queen and Barabas of the King. Spice also signed her deal. These people's goal is to slowly but surely, as I said, turn Iron Man into a modern day Saddam and Gomorrah. Spice has been greatly rewarded for her deals, just like Barabas. Even when time Spice now has sang a play, trust me, she'll be alright. She'll be alright. Other revenue streams will open up. I can assure you of that. 
In the 1960s, Jamaica had a murder rate that was lower than many developed nations, in fact, including Uncle Sam Place. These Jamaicans were poorer, less educated, and less employed. Nothing near the murder and the generosity where you see now. The eroding of our culture was engineered by the same system that owned the plantation. Now they own the record labels and the publishing companies. The big ones, not the little small one you know about where you but now song me talk about. Because how music works is this label signed to this label was signed to this label was signed to this man. DJs like Vice Barabas and Spice and these people. They're sellouts. House Negroes. Puppet Negroes. Just like hip hop. So why the non conventional people in America will tell you the same thing I hear you so I say go dance on. Somebody sent me this clip from Dr. Umar Johnson a long time ago. And I shared it with him. Check this out. Now, I don't know what your definition of coon is. I don't know what your definition of sellout is. But if there is any definition of a sellout, the gangster rapper has to be at the top of the list with Jesse Lee Peterson. Whatever your definition of sellout, Whatever your de definition of race trader, there is no way that the chart topping gangster rapper is not a coon. There's no way the average gangster rap artist is not a coon because your music allows you to live a bourgeoisie lifestyle amongst the whites and send your children to private white colleges and private white academies and private white Catholic schools, but your music motivates our kids to go to jail and go to the cemetery. And then on top of that, these gangster rappers and they think that if they come back to the ghetto they grew up in and throw a block party, throw a cookout, Give out some Christmas toys. Give out some Thanksgiving turkeys. Give out a couple jackets when it gets cold. And you think that that somehow absolves you of being responsible for a consistent, toxic, self-genocidal message of extermination. You are out of your mind. Different location. That's not Jamaica I'm talking about, but the same results. Same artists I'm talking about. Unquestionably sellouts. Sound familiar, right? The puppet celeb used their enormous influence and erode the values of our community, push death and destruction, and then they use some cherry tricks to try and shadow it, like makeup, let's cover it up. Oh, look, when you talk about this treat, me put on one treat. Look how me be give them and they want shoes. When you talk about that, you hear Umar Johnson talk about them give out turkey. In America, the rapper them give out turkey. Turkey. Turkey drive and turkey day. In a Jamaica, it's a treat. Put on one treat and give her one bag. When you talk about that, go suck your mama. This is not puppet artists. No amount of charity can undo the damage you have done to the people and the culture. And even after their riches and sending their kids to the best school, they still can't avoid the divine punishment for them face. Check the scoreboard, not for your favorite artist them. Not for your favorite acidic artist them. Not only they are tormented, but their children are tormented. Some catastrophic events reach them. People like Spice and many of her female colleagues. All them do is destroy the image of the black woman, the Jamaican woman. They have reduced them to nothing more than a hole. A hole for those dumb seamen in breed and move on. Remember when time Spice went to the BET Awards? She was representing Jamaica. She was representing us. She was representing black women. And all she could do was open up and skin out her foot. And you people laughed and celebrated. They have made blackness become synonymous with death, destruction, debauchery and degeneracy. Every group of people on earth loves sex, but they never know it. It are things are black man and black woman alone. The Jezebel spirit is loose! To the extent where another female artist, Jada Kingdom, went as far as to call herself a Gen Z Jezebel. 
made a whole song out of it. Jamaicans see this and embrace it because it's too far gone. The culture is now so acidic that they embrace something like that. These artists have sold out in more ways than one. And when they do, the impossible becomes possible. Go and watch the video. I'm gonna drop before this. It's on the channel. Or just type in Natalia Road on the channel, you'll see. It has the name on the website you can go check out. You will see your favorite artist, Barbas. Agent Squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know. More life. Ultra Squad. Stay circling. Bless.